So coming into the body, full awareness in the body, this body that sits and breathes. Aware of the sensations in your hands, the sensations in our hands are very sensitive and often, our hands are very sensitive and often we can feel a tingling sensation, Owen calls it tingling aliveness in the hands, and then we can open our awareness to that tingling elsewhere in the body. Perhaps arising from the billions of cells that are taking care of us all the time. So now, please imagine, as clearly as you can, that you die right now. Suddenly and quietly, you slump to the floor if you're sitting up. Or lying down, you collapse on the floor. Your heart stops. Your breathing stops, and your body is still. As the body that used to be yours slumps down, your awareness pops out and you seem to float up to the ceiling where you can look down. And watch what's happening. Your awareness is crystal clear. Clearer than it has ever been before. You can see and you can hear but you have no agency. You cannot speak, you cannot act, you can only be aware. You discover that you can move freely through space and also time. As you watch from above, you see a commotion in the zendo people gathering around the slumped body, people searching for a pulse, finding no pulse, doing CPR, sending someone to call for 911. You see everyone's anxious face, perhaps some people are crying. Then the paramedics arrive, come in the door, bringing all of their equipment, continue to do resuscitation on this body that you no longer inhabit. They put this body on a stretcher, take it out to the ambulance, and depart from the, for the hospital. At the hospital, in the emergency room, they continue resuscitation efforts with this body that you no longer inhabit, but to no avail. They cannot restore this body to life. The body that you once called me is covered in a sheet and wheeled to the morgue. Then you watch family and friends being called. How do they react? And then word spreads from your family and friends. Maybe to coworkers people in other organizations you belong to. How do they react? 
watch what occurs as this news that you have died spreads through the community. Now, move through time to your memorial service or your funeral. Again, watching from above, what do you see? What do you hear? Perhaps this now lifeless body is there. Perhaps just an urn of ashes. Perhaps there's music. People giving speeches about the activities of this body when it was alive. Perhaps people are crying. What do you see at this memorial service? Where would it be held? And what would be happening? Now move through time again to one month since this body died. Look again at how people are doing. Partners, children, ex-partners, your family, co-workers, even your old possessions, what's happened to your clothing, your shoes. How are these people doing one month after this body that you once inhabited has died? Now fast forward to six months, six months after the body died. Watch these people who were so important in your life and you to them. How are they doing? What are they doing? Now fast forward an entire year. Perhaps there's a memorial service for you at a year. How are all the people that you love doing? What is their memory of you? Now move to five years after your death. Five years have passed. Many things have changed in the world. What has happened to all the people who are important to you and you to them? How are they doing? Now move forward 25 years. 25 years after you died. After your body died, your awareness is still alive. In 25 years, what will be people's memory of you? How will they feel when they remember you? Now fast forward 100 years, 100 years, what's happened to your body? What's happened to all the elements of your body? Whether it was buried in the ground or composted or burned into ashes, what has happened to all those elements? What have they become? 
in a hundred years. Now fast forward two hundred years. 2,223, 200 years from the time your body died. Is there anyone who will remember you and how? If people are going through an old photo album and they see a picture, will they recognize it as you? Does anything remain that was your life? What remains of the body elements? What remains of your practice? Of all your learning, all your writing, all your creating, all the loving-kindness practice you did, all the clarification of mind. Does anything remain? Be curious. Has anyone inherited it? Does anything remain? of your mind, except this great awareness. Now bring your awareness back into this body that is actually still alive, that is breathing, that has a beating heart, Feel the tingling aliveness in your hands. And in the rest and in the rest of your body. Feel what it is to be inhabiting again an alive body. And when you're ready, if your eyes are closed, open your eyes and sit up or adjust your posture. The poet Rilke says, love and death are the great gifts that are given to us. Mostly they are passed on unopened. Together in this session, we are opening the gift of death to discover what we can learn and unlearn from it. Thank you. Thank you.